Well, welcome to Sykes TV. Uh, Andy in the red corner. Well, hey, up. corner. <laughs> and uh, Ryan, uh, yeah. pleased to have you both on. So, yeah, uh, we're going to have a bit of a discussion about what's going to be coming up. Uh, there's, a, there's a certain big game coming up on Saturday. I don't know if you know all about it. Uh, you know, keeping all red. I don't know if anybody's heard. If not, then we'll have to plug it a bit more. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a go at that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, we've just been on about it. Andy, off air. Uh, sad passing to John Motson, mate. Yeah, um, I was at work this afternoon and uh, I saw it uh, go on my news feed. Uh, mm. Yeah, um, just shocked. Came out of blue that for me. Mm. Uh, I must admit, I didn't even know he was ill. Um, no. So, yeah, it just came out of blue. And uh, yeah, um, definite voice of football uh, that we've let, um, that we now are missing. Um, mm. And I don't think it'll be a commentator as good as him. Um, he mm. couldn't paint a picture, couldn't he? He didn't really have to see what was happening on TV um, yeah. with his commentary. He just painted it perfect. Um, and, yeah, like we were saying as well, also with Dickie Davis as well, right. uh, yeah. two legends. Um, I always remember watching World of Sport. That's how I got into wrestling. Uh, mm. I remember Dickie Davis presented wrestling at World of Sport. That's what got me into it. The only one me in family who love wrestling, um, and I eventually became a wrestler uh, through World of Sport and watching Dickie Davis. Uh, really? But yeah, yeah. What so, were your wrestling name, Andy? For seven Nancy years, Rosa. <laughs> for seven years, I used to um, I used to wrestle called Jack Russell. I used to be a comedy um, really? type of wrestler. Right. Yeah, yeah. While well, wrestling for seven years, I used to. I used to train with Americans when they were over here. Um, wow. right. Yeah, uh, I'm being all over uh, wrestling in the UK, but I had to eventually retire because of injury. Um, and you don't get injured, although it's pretend fighting. You don't get injured. Um, it, it hurt. Um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I used to love it. But yeah, um, two um, heroes uh, and two... Icons, really, that we've sadly lost. Yeah. Yeah. So, AEW and WWE have missed out on you then, mate? I'm afraid so, yeah. Um, fair, I loss, think, fair loss. Yeah. But, you know, we've got the Barnsley's John Cena here, so that, that's we all go. we need. What, what, what more can we ask for? What more can we ask for? We'll see We'll see if we can get a, a ring in the uh, in fan zone, see if we can get some, I, some going at wrestling there. I did actually wrestle once at Barnsley in uh, the Open Day. Um really? Yeah, uh, outside of East Stand, yeah. yeah. Man, many talents. I bet you didn't know that, right, did you? We had his own wrestling star, not sure. There we go. Here we go, here we go. Well, you don't you don't get stuff like this anywhere else. <laughs> so, yeah, Ryan, I mean, just going on from what uh, Andy's been saying there, mate, uh, John Motson, I mean, yeah, Dickie Davis, you know, I, part of my childhood memories with John Motson, I mean, before Sky and other pay-per-view channels came on board. It was BBC match it day when you got odd game on and then what big match when it was Brian Moore on that. But I mean I remember FA Cup finals, you know, he, he made a day in it and an iconic yeah. voice was like Barry Davis. I mean we've just been mm -hmm. on about it off air. He did FA Cup when Chelsea came here. Or did Jay called it out, didn't he? He did. He did. He were, it, I mean just like 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 Andy touched on there, the voice of football, the guy Probably the best ever to do it, I'd, I'd, I'd say. Um, mm. It weren't just his his commentary was so good; it was his knowledge. His absolutely, it was just like a complete wealth of knowledge. Just built a pull yeah. from his from his head in a match, and just really sort of uh, immerse yourself in, you know, his, his commentary. The, you know, he, he was a genius, and I think he retired, didn't he? And then he came back. Mm. I think he's probably worked most of his uh, most of his life, and I think, you know. He'll be sadly missed. Football's going to, you know, it's like Murray Walker going from F1, isn't it? And Sid Waddell going from darts and all of these guys, mm. these icons of the um, of the sport that make it, you know, it's not just about watching it, it's also about the experience. And I think mm. these these great commentators add massively to that. And uh, mm. John Watson were definitely up there with the best. If not, for, for me, the best, you know, I th I, he's definitely my favourite commentator, so... Yeah, good yeah. call on that. Good call, Ryan. Yeah, so I mean, just going back to football matters on a you know, you know, football's football, and it's you know, things like that puts things in perspective, and that way, certain icons and legends at game. Uh, so yeah, Andy coming back. I mean, 
big game. We touched on it briefly, like Derby County. I mean, we've been on a decent run. You know, we've got confidence and you know, with rating bats here. Derby County, buying any injuries, you know, it's going to be a massive sellout kind of crowd in it. I mean, I know the club are about to be putting it out, but once you met Oakwell Red, I think they're going to be fetched like 5,000. It's an old ticket to, yeah. again, what's what's your expectations come Derby County, mate, on Saturday? I'm looking, for, well, I always look forward to matches anyway, but this one especially, especially because of atmosphere, it's going to be um, like going back in time a little bit. That, that's how it used to be, hmm. um, regardless what division we used to be in um, back in the day. Um, and hopefully that, atmosphere and hopefully we can get a win to put ice not cake but hopefully that might get a bit more enthusiasm into uh, fans that's returning back uh, mm. shall we say because um, that's what it needs it needs that little bit of injection um, into fans from club um, and yeah it's going to be uh, it's going to be an awesome game um, and Oakwell's been missing that type of atmosphere Atmosphere for ages, um, and yeah, I, I'm looking. It's going to be di- it's going to be a difficult game. Um, mm. There's no two ways about it. A different uh, challenge, completely. All due respect to Cheltenham, um, and it's going to be a good uh, measuring stick to see where we actually are. Uh, mm. I think uh, competing uh, at teams uh, in and around us at the minute. Um, but yeah, thoroughly looking forward to it. I can't wait. Yeah, I'm just following on back from uh, Andy Veer, Ryan. Michael Duff's alluded to this as well because he got, I think, it asked a question. I don't know if it was media or someone like that. And it asked a question in run about a big game and it's, you know, it's a six point of this. And like Duff said, and he kind of like brought it back in perspective. And I yeah, kind of agree with him. Right. He said that, look, it's a game, it's three points. It's not going to be defining for the season because we've been on a. I think we've lost two since November or something like that. He says, so, again, we want it a game what's going to be entertaining for both sides, because we like that, and not a game what's going to be a poor officiating. So, again, you're looking for an official that's going to allow the flow of play to go, because I think a big following from Derby, like we said, it's going to be all ticket, it's going to be a decent crowd bit looks on it, building up to it, so it's going to be bouncing. You'd like to have some kind of official via what's going to be, I won't say used to it, but in that environment, you know, it's, it's such a magnitude of this game being built up. You want someone to uh, allow it to, the game to flow kind of thing, Ryan. Yeah, absolutely. Because we, we've had some poor ones, haven't we? We've had some poor ones. I mean, it was last last big game that we had at Oakwell being, being Bolton, it were over as a tie after 10 minutes mm. when he sent, when he sent Mads off, um, mm. which was still, you mean, a ridiculous decision, weren't it? The penalty being given on that game, one of them, Seen him not given, seen him given, but to give the red card were just outrageous. I hope we don't get anything like that Saturday, which will spoil it. Is it is potentially could spoil the point, uh, the uh, occasion, but we'll see, won't we? We'll see, see what we get. I, I always say with referees, if I've, if I've not had to shout his name all game, he's had a good game. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's like that. We want to be talking about a game, don't we? But rather than talking yeah. about an yeah. official making a iffy a decision, don't we? We want the football to talk. Yeah, I think you know, Derby are a, a good side. Um, a very good side. We're both on, you know, we're on good form. I think we've lost two games since October in the league and they've only lost one. Mm. Um, they've had, they had a bit of a shake, didn't they, a couple of games ago when they, drew, they, they lost to Wickham and then they drew and then they won again Saturday, didn't they, against Charlton. So, you know, and I, I, for ourselves, I don't. I think we're in about as good as form as we could be, really. Yeah. yeah. I think when we went into it last, because I'd say this is probably, it, it's his biggest game of the season and, um, the last one being Bolton, just after New Year. And although we were on a similar sort of a run, I don't think we were playing that well in that before that game because we didn't play well against Fleetwood. We didn't play particularly well against Accrington. We did it first half, but we just couldn't put it. We, we couldn't score. And then second half, it was terrible. The game against Burton was, it was poor, wasn't it? Yeah. It, I mean, we got the win, but it was poor. So those three games before the Bolton game, we weren't. We weren't in the best form, although we we're still picking up results. But I think we've been in—I think we've been in excellent form on this particular run. Mm. Uh, so I don't think we can be as prepared as any more prepared than we are. And I feel something special happening Saturday. I hope we beat. 
I genuinely, I mean, I, I obviously yeah. got three points, but it's just beating Derby to shut the yeah. fans up a bit. Yeah, I, I kind of get where you're coming from about as well. Like, I think Paul Warren's got him playing a, a kind of different style of football. It's more, we kind of know what you get with Paul Warren at Rotherham, but I press and I tempo a bit similar to us, such as us, uh, wants to be up and amongst it. So, Andy, I mean, just following on from that, it's again not poor officiating. You want both both teams are going to be more kind of similar in form. If if I'm being honest, like you know, a draw and a win and all that kind of kind of stuff here. For me, I don't know. I really genuinely don't. We'll get on to about teams and you know predictions about a bit later on, but I can't see how it's going to go. I think it's just going to be a. It's going to be a. a it's going to be a tough game, but it's going to be tough in so many reasons. As in the attacking threat, the defensive threat. You've got you've got to be switched on. Uh, yeah. Like what. You know, we've got to be up there. And, but in that kind of form here, I just thought that if we do lose, because people have been saying, oh, we're on about losing. But when you look at reality things, sooner or later you're going to draw something. Even if we draw, it's not a bad result against yeah, Derby. Yeah. You know I don't what think I mean? a draw is a bad result. I think, no, I mean, no. like, like Duffy said in his, his interview, you know, on website, on Barnsley website, he did say if we, if we do get beat, we'll still, he still classify that as a, bad, as, a, as, a, as a good run. Mm. It's just obviously Wickham are right on his tail, aren't we? That they're right on his tail, Wickham. They won't go away. Mm. <laughs> we yeah. keep winning and they won't go away. But they've obviously, unfortunately, they've lost. I feel I do feel for them losing Ains with uh, Gareth Ainsworth this week. So yeah. I don't know how that's going to react for them. But I think as long as we don't get beat, obviously we every game I want us to win. But if we don't get beat, I think it won't be terrible. Um, but I just, I, I just feel like we're going to. I just hope we don't, because we're there, because they're quite high pressing like us. Um, I hope the defence, you know, don't mess about with it at the back. Like sometimes we can do, tip tapping it around. I think if they're going to be pressed by the attackers, are they going to are they going to fold or they're going to get the ball shifted up front or we're going to re- resort to long ball hoofing it because we're under pressure. It'll be interesting. It'll be it'll be interesting to see. Interesting, interesting it will. See. I mean, Andy. How do we do we approach this? Do we just set up it as I pressing tempo like we did do against Cheltenham and it's it's gonna come quick we set off like a a whippy at traps kind of thing, didn't we, against Cheltenham, mate? Yeah, I think we've just got to play as our own game, haven't we? Yeah. Um not worry about what's in front of us as probably as daft as that sounds, just play his own game. Play mm. play to his own strengths rather than adjusting our game to counter theirs. Um yeah. I think it's a big game for both teams. Um, you know, that they'll just be. Um, I think, yeah, I think it'll be a nervy game, and I think they'll just be as as nervy as what we are. Um, do you think, Candy? Uh, do you think, Candy, that as as squad is now more more of a balanced look to it with substitutes as well? Yeah. In the last yeah. Couple of games. Do you agree with Definitely. that? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Hundred percent. 100% and players that gone or are on loan or whatever um, perfect perfect call mm. for club and also for players and it's help, I think it's helped team in, um, in long run mm. uh, and yeah bench looks a lot lot stronger um, I want to see a bit more of that show I don't know yeah you know sure. um, yeah because he's starting off at bench in eight minute really mm. um, well for most games anyway um, but yeah, uh, I think we're in a lot better position. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be a very, very nervous game, I think. Um, nice and I think first goal is going to be vital. I honestly do. Yeah, Big. yeah I mean, uh, Ryan, come down to you. Just what like Andy was saying via just touching a bit on it about squad being in depth. And it's good to see Luke Thomas uh, getting a, a bit of minute time when he came on. I know it was a couple, what, 20 minutes, 15 minutes, something like that. But you're good to see him on pitch. And again, it's pleasing to see that we've got options now on the bench that you can't, as a player, you can't rest on your laurels. You, you know, you're going to come off and it's good, a player's going to come on to replace you. And it's for, for good at team. It's You yeah. know, it's not a personal thing. It's for, you need to job doing, mate. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm buzzing to see him back, Lou Thomas. I thought, <clears> I think he's a brilliant player. <throat> I think he's fantastic. And he offers us something else that no other player's got. Hmm. When, when when he first got injured, we, we were we were lost for quite for a few weeks, weren't we? Because he just we lost that that press 
and that yeah. when he were picking ball up, as soon as he picked ball up, he turns and he goes and he runs at defending. It must be terrifying to defend against. Mm. Um, so to have to have Luke back is is fantastic. Um, yeah. And also offering more competition for players. So we've got John Russell in there as well. Mm. Andy mentioned about Oli Shaw. I just think that's just match fitness. I think because he's he, he'd, yeah. he'd only play he'd only come on as a sub in 89th minute once since start at World Cup. So he's not had. He's, I don't think he's just quite up to match fitness. A bit like when Norwood first came over, you know, when he first yeah. started with us, and it, you know, I think he's, he's reaping it well now. So, yeah, I think you know we got beat by Derby, didn't we? Two one away in league earlier on in the season, um, and I think the squad's in a far better place than it was then. Yeah, I agree. We've got, a, we've got a much stronger squad, yeah. and I don't think we played that bad that day. We were, you know, I went mm-hmm. to the game, and it were. I thought we were unfortunate not to come away with some. Um, yeah. I think we just just left it a bit too much when they got there when it when it was two 0 yeah. Um because they're a good side at home now. But yeah, I think we're in a much stronger position now. Even when we got beat in cup, um, you know, the strong the squad weren't the strongest that day, were it? Um mm. when we got beat by a Derby in Cup. So I don't I don't I don't I don't really look at that. Although, having said that, on that performance in the last game in at their place in the cup. For that first 15 minutes, when we pressed really hard and we played our game, we, we were all over them. Mm. We were all over them. We just didn't keep up the performance and then went behind and, and, and they got their heads down and obviously the rest is history, isn't it? But, um, th- so they're there to be got at. I think they're there to be got at, especially at Oakwell as well. Yeah. Especially being at Oakwell with a better squad. Like I it's said, I, I, match up, I, predict, it? I predict special things Saturday. Yeah. We're, having, we're having it. <laughs> we're having it. Bring it on. We're having it. Um uh, so I'll come to you, Andy. Uh, going to go for would you change out really and personal wise, and what do you think is going to be a key player for us on day? Trying to predict team, I- I'm finding it really, really difficult at the minute because there's there's always one or two changes. Um, I mean, does Cadden come in? Uh, does he come back in? He's but, back but, in because but, he's missed at Ben. So yeah, yeah. Lakash Le- played really well though, didn't he? Uh, so he doesn't deserve to be dropped. True. So. It's a big call, isn't it? It's. Yeah. Um, I mean, I would personally say keep team as it is. Um, okay. How can you change it from that performance at Charlton away? Um, I but like said, down the goal, the tampon now. So yeah, yeah, that's it. yeah. But, yeah. But like I said, on the other hand, um, let's be honest, it's a different caliber of uh, an opponent uh, on Saturday. So. I don't know. It's it's a difficult one. Do you want to phone one. a friend? Do you want to phone a friend? I ain't got one. Oh, <laughs> I'm your friend. I'm actually, I'm here, so I can't um, tell. No, I'm going to say, um, yeah, I think we should I think we should keep it same uh, as what yeah. started against Cheltenham. Yeah. But knowing Duff, there'll be a few uh, curveballs in, I would think. There always is. But uh, yeah, that's yeah. what I'd, I'd keep. I'd keep it same. And... Yeah. Key player. Um, I think we've got to take us chances. Simple as that. So, yeah. key yeah. players. I think is just going to be forwards who have a um, the start up front, uh, mm-hmm. whether it's Cole, Norwood, or whoever. So, key players to me is going to be forwards. We just need to take us chances. Saturday. Key players forwards. Key players forwards, and you're going to keep it as is, Ryan. Yeah. I mean, coming to you, mate. Uh, would you make any changes? And again, keep yeah, players, I mean, or... I agree. I agree with Andy. I think you know, after that performance Saturday, why, 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 why change it? I mean, mm. I mean, I like Cadden to be fair, but if he's been off for a couple of weeks, we, we miss his having um, a bear, and it's just um, whether it, will he be hundred percent match fit? Mm. Um, mm. I do like his pace down that side, and he does get forward and tries to. He just try to get in behind defence there, doesn't he? But mm. Ladikesh has got a great feet. He's got a great ping. He's got a great attitude. So either of those, I'd, I'd be happy with. Um, as far as key player goes, I just think with Derby's attacking style and their and their press, I think you know the back three are going to be vital in this game. I think Mads is going to need to lead from front, okay. um, and I think so. I'm going to I'm going to say Mads Anderson. I think he's going to have to take those two alongside him, and um, you know, and put, and put a solid performance in because they're going to they're going to be under pressure, mm. not just from attacks, but also when they're picking ball apart defence because they like to play out from back. When we're yeah. picking ball apart defence, again, they're going to be under pressure there as well. So they're really going to have to be switched on. So I'm, I'm going to say Mads. Mads. Good. I mean, both good shouts. Uh, would I make any changes? Personally, no. I don't think I'd make any changes. Like you say, 
how can you make changes? That, you know, he's going to bring Carrigan in for Loresh. I think that's probably the only change I could see him doing. But again, it's a bit unfair on Loresh because he's... He didn't yeah. know, to be fair, I thought he played all right. He had a decent game. Yeah. People say, yeah, it Ronald Cheltenham. It doesn't matter who you play. It's not a, a decent game, to be fair. Yeah. He did what he had to do. Um, as regarding my key player, um, I went I went Bobby Thomas last week. Um, I'm going to go Luke Connell. I just think it's going to be a... It's going to be an interesting midfield battle with Uran and Luke Connell. And I want... Well, I love all... I mean, all the world, though, all our fans get behind Luke Connell because, yeah, Uriam, they were good, they were all right, but he's not our player. Move on from that sentiment, got a new Irish hero now, Luke Connell, mm-hmm. and, you know, where I see Luke, I, I, I just wanted to win that midfield battle. I think he's going to be. I get where you, I, I get, but it's, it's hard because I get where you're coming from and all. I get where you're coming from, Ryan, about your defence got to be on and, you know, got to be switched on with threat. I get where Andy's coming from about we've got to have a chance and clinical. And I think we've covered all bases. I think we've all, it's it's interesting with all three of us, you've all gone through different areas. Attack, yeah. defence, and going midfield. I just thought, but Ari East, I don't have a bloody stinking, huh? But apart from that, <laughs> I don't know anybody else. But uh, we are, <laughs> what I'm trying to say is that all good shots in their own right. And for me, yeah, I'm I'm going look at Connell just for that midfield battle. But again, your shouts are just equally as, as important because end of the day, we've got to stop goal conceding and then we've got to convert them at the other end. So I think, can we agree it's going to be an old team performance, isn't it, really? I think we'll yeah, it's going to have to be. Like spine. It. Yeah, we'll go for yeah. spine. What about that? We'll go for spine. That sounds a bit good, doesn't it? Like, <laughs> I think we'll be good for because we've got goals coming from all over at many, haven't we? So, True. It's for yeah. an attacking force. I think I think we're going to be good. Um, like said, goals coming from all over then, Ryan. So what's the score going to be? Bit unfair, I'm, like, I'm gonna three one Barnsley. Three one Barnsley. Yeah. Oh, get, get it, it I'll take that. Get it on, get it on. I'll get our odds for that. Three one Barnsley. Andy, what are we going for, mate? Um, I'm going for two one to the Reds. Oh, I thought you were going to five no then. <laughs> two not reds, two not the reds. Yeah. 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 Uh, I'm I'm kind of in the middle of you. I'm going two one Barnsley. I'm going two one Barnsley. I think. Well, I think it'll be goals. I think I think it'll be an interesting game. Um, like I said, just sort of officiating is matches. You know, the the flow of football. Just wanted to carry on. I think it'll be an interesting game between top two sides, and I don't mean top two sides. I don't mean like one and two, but I mean we're up there, top sides in, in division. Is it? I just don't want it to be like a the Bolton game where. Some poor officiating can ruin game against two yeah, decent yeah. sides. What's challenging for promotion, basically? Um, yeah. it, up and a monster. So I'm going two one. And he's going three one. Uh, sorry, and Ryan's going three one. And he's going two no. So I think we all can agree with his goals in it. All being well, the coming bounce away. So to make a, an happy week and even happier. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I appreciate you, Andy and Ryan, for joining me. Uh, thanks for taking your time Any out time. Uh, well, uh, to your schedules and that. Please like, subscribe and share. If you are comments below as well. Uh, if you didn't know, I did a video uh, with Callie to got an invite from club yesterday. Go and watch that because he ex- explained the reason behind wanting all well bouncing and buzzing like keep going past with we are trying certain things. Um, and, again, we all, want, we all want what's best for the club. And... Uh, Get get club promoted back. We at least I think we belong in championship, and then yeah. you know build on there and get, be a good solid counter ascends. So yeah, Andy and Ryan, appreciate your time. There's just one thing left to say: you Reds. <laughs> <laughs>